Hello and welcome back to Ninja Mobile Dart. I just finished putting all the joints in the suspension so um, I thought I'd lay it all out like a car brochure and show, share it with you. So there's a pair of front uprights, front lower wishbones, front top wishbones with the outer joint, rear uprights, front uh, rear lower wishbones, rear top wishbones and a pair of drive shafts. Quite a lot of work. But uh, it's all done now and we can, we're getting pretty close to putting it on the car, which is cool. Here we go with a slightly more conventional method of putting the engine in. Through the top rather than through the floor. This is the first time. Probably need a wriggle here and there. No, we're stuck. About there, near enough. And there's a little engine bolted in place. Nicely all the bolts lined up in spite of all the welding that's been done to the chassis since it was last in there. And um, exhaust system. And you'll be delighted and surprised as I am to see that it misses everything. Pops through all the holes and comes out pretty much where it's supposed to, to be continued. I think we all know that rain makes the grass grow, but um, the difference here in two weeks with 200 mm of rain, I still find quite astounding. We're just starting off on the fuel tank, so I thought I'd share that with you. It's, um, this piece will make the the bottom and the sides of the tank when we fold it up. Uh, the tank will be 14 odd litres, which is enough for 10 laps of most places, which is plenty. So when that, that, that folds up for the bottom and the sides, that piece folds over the top to make the top and the front and the back. And inside that, we'll put this uh, ZX10 fuel pump, standard Kawasaki unit, which has got um, fuel pump, fuel filter, and a pressure regulator in there. Nice work, Kawasaki. And like all good fuel tanks, it's got a fuel collector pot, so that, that'll sit inside that bit of tube. And to fill that up with petrol, have another pump inside the tank, that little, just a little transfer pump. That's got scrap written on it, because it was scrap when it came out of a Jaguar Formula One car 15 years ago, but it's not scrap really. And that'll sit in a bracket down the bottom of the tank and pick up fuel and transfer it. And a uh, fuel filler that's off um, that nice little breathing cap is off an old Delara Formula 3 car I used to own. Away we go. Next minute, there's the front panel, bottom and sides panel folded up, and it's got a 40mm step in the floor. That's to. Uh, now the fuel pump to go in, like so, and um, not poke out through the floor of the car. Moving right along here, there's our folded up base which you've seen before. And there's the lid, it pops over the top, and it's got a hole ready made there for the transfer pump to go in the tank. But before we go and put that on, I'm going to put the collector pot in, which has now got a lid on it to stop all the fuel rushing out when you go around the corner, but it's also got a couple of bleed holes to uh, avoid pressurising it and uh, upsetting the fuel pressure regulator. Now that has to go on there, which is fine. Um, we're going to weld it. 
weld it around the bottom here to stop the fuel leaking out and trying to keep that edge lined up while we weld it. If it's nicely lined up it'll be a, a nice job and if it's off a bit to one side it's going to be a mess. So we've got a little trick here. This little bit of aluminium just to fold it up bit of scrap pops in here and there's a little, little bit of a positioning jig goes in like that holds it in place while Malcolm welds it there's our little fuel tank welded together which is worked out quite well no dramas all fitted up nicely but I'll stop there for a couple of reasons um, there's a little bit here to be welded on but I've left that out I won't weld that on just for now because it's um, going to be handy to be able to look through that, look through that hole while we uh, set up the, the lift pump and there's a fuel filler to go on but um, I won't weld that on until I position it in the car and I might want to angle it, angle it a little bit just to make sure I can get a little wooden dipstick all the way to the bottom of the tank but that's a later issue. Mostly done. Here's our fuel lift pump assembly ready to go together. A little electric fuel pump goes in the bottom of that tube as you may recall. But uh, we need to get electricity in and out of the fuel tank without letting the fuel come out. So the little tweak for that, this little 90 degree fitting. M4 button head screw. Little machined up spacer that Malcolm's made. Goes in there. That goes into the tank. Nylon washer. Another one of those. M4 nut with a little bit of Loctite. Fumble. So that little assembly goes through with the fuel tank in there and nothing touches. There it is. And um, here's one we tried earlier. So with that little hole we can get through and put the wires on it. Here at long last is our fuel tank. The lift pumps in there. Transfers the fuel over to the collector pot, fuel filler, two electrical contacts there, and underneath the Kawasaki fuel pump, and lives in the chassis behind the seat like that, so we can get to the fuel filler down through the bodywork. Should be okay, really. And that's it for fuel systems.